Well, today I'm going to talk about this amazing little Brodak Cardinal. I say little because it's actually 54 inch wingspan, so almost the size of a full size stunter. Uh, as you can see, it's uh, an ARTC design, That's, uh, that means almost ready to cover. Beautifully made wing. Uh, just needs covering with uh, tissue or, or better still uh, profilm. This is one of Brodak's most popular models and literally hundreds have been sold all over the world. But there's something rather unique about this particular one um, and if I remove this little cheek you'll, um, you'll see what I'm talking about. So there we have something rather radical, an electric motor, not an IC motor. So I'm going to zoom in and explain the details to you. So this is an overview of the electrical setup. At the front you've got the motor, OS motor. Uh, next in line you have the timer and just behind it the speed controller. It's worth explaining that there's two basic systems available. The European system being campaigned by Keith Renickel and the American system being campaigned by Will Hubbin. This is in fact the Will Hubbin system. So we have his timer at the front and just behind it the Castle Creations speed controller. I'll give you a close up view of the speed controller here. And this is the timer. The main advantage with the Will Hubbin system is that it comes with this rather nifty programmer, uh, which I'm going to demonstrate for you now. Uh, you just disconnect one of the connections, like so, and when you uh, connect it to the programmer, be sure that the shiny little bits are facing downwards, and you've got a and all you're viewing is the, the, the plain black plastic casing. So you connect that up like so. Um, and then you press the on button uh, both on the programmer and on the model simultaneously. Now you can see, if I come in a little bit closer, what we're reading. OK, so the programmer is now all connected up. You just press the start button and the start button on the programmer simultaneously and the first thing you will see is uh, program. So you press OK to continue. The flight time. This is the total flight time. As you can see it's just one minute. Uh, this is only because we're doing a practice flight um, or I will be doing a practice demonstration on the model uh, in situ here so it only needs to run for one minute. So we press OK. The delay time, 21 seconds. That's the, the delay time from when you press this start button to when the motor will actually begin to run. 21 seconds. We'll just drop that down to 20 seconds. Press OK. This is the ESC mode which offers you various programs. We don't need to make any changes here so just click OK. This is the RPM setting. I've got it at 10.50, that's a bit fast, so we'll drop it down so to, to near a 9.5. 9.5.53 is the nearest we can get. That's, that's fine, so we press OK. Finished. So that, that, that timer is now programmed, and that's, I will be demonstrating exactly what we've got. So we switch off and remove it from the... Uh, remove the... OK, so if I turn over the model, surprise, surprise, no fuel tank. Electric motors, of course, run on batteries, and uh, this is the compartment where the battery will sit. Uh, the purchasing of, my, of batteries is something of a minefield. Um, these are LiPos, LiPolis, potentially quite dangerous, particularly in a crash situation or at the charging stage, but I'll deal with that in a separate video. The specification of batteries is also a nightmare and as you can see the, the numbers you want to home in on are the big numbers shown here, in this case 3000 or 2700. In the smaller section 
you want to look at the number of cells. Those are really the only two figures you want to be studying. We're opting to go for five cells. Uh, this is the, the size battery we've used so far in this uh, Cardinal and it's worked very well. Um, that's 3,000, that's the actual capacity, the, the amount of power that you will have. The cells, each cell is about three and a half volts. Um, so five of those equates to nearly um, uh, 18 volts, which is ideal for this size of motor. In this particular case, I'm going to opt for 2,700 because I think that will have enough capacity uh, to, to run my, my OS motor. So to install, you simply plug it in and do up your Velcro securely to hold it firmly in place. You then attach the plug, like so, and then you need an arming wire uh, to, to, to set it to in action, and I'll demonstrate that now. So this is the arming plug, just a simple bit of wire with bullet connectors on each end. I'll just tell you what's going to happen. When this is connected there will be a, a spark. Nothing to worry about, it's just to warn you that you're ready to go. Then there'll be a few series of noises once I've uh, pressed the start button. Uh, and I'll, I'll give you notification as these happen. So we'll, we'll arm the motor by connecting. Watch out for the spark and you'll probably hear it as well. Okay, that's give you a warning that everything's ready to go. So, we now are ready to start the motor. We press a little button at the bottom, like so, and you'll get a warning from the motor that it's going to work. So now we've got 20 second delay while we walk out to the, to the centre of the circle and pick up our handle. Then the motor will start. Now if you remember, I programmed this to run for one minute. The beauty of the hubbing system is that you'll get a momentary blip five seconds before the one minute is up, which gives you warning that the motor is going to stop. So listen now for the blip. That's it, that's your blip, got five seconds. That's it, the motor's stopped. Uh, if you haven't got an assistant, and you've got to walk, it will give you periodic blips uh, that it's still armed and needs to be disconnected. I'll just hold it on so that you can hear that noise. Right, so that gives you warning that it's still alive. So at this stage you must disarm it by pulling, removing your connecting wire. So now it is in a safe mode uh, and you can go off and recharge your batteries. Well I hope you found that useful. That's the new electric set setup that uh, I'll be demonstrating later this year.